Well, I've been ticking around with this uh, project synthesizer that I've been working on for the past couple of years, actually. Uh, this is uh, actually the first time I've actually made a circuit board ever. And I designed it and I got ordered it through JLC PCB. I used their Easy, Easy, uh, Easy EDA design uh, uh, program and uh, I made this board that uses an ST uh, F4 chip and uh, a PCM 5102 digital analog converter. What uh, I've been working on is a oscillator sync, hard sync. And I mentioned on this uh, forum I uh, needed help with hard sync on mutable instruments. Can you get that on there? And uh, I was I found uh, some code that mentioned uh, about syncing the uh, MinBlep oscillators that were in the code uh, from uh, somebody named Xavier Hoglin, Halgen and Sean Bolton worked on together. Anyway, I, I found this little Easter egg, I guess you would say, and uh, I asked on the mutable instruments, nobody answered, but I thought I'd just go ahead and make a little video, I figured it out. Uh, it is indeed a, just as simple as it was uh, taking sync out from one uh, oscillator and uh, making sync in of the other oscillator that value. And here's what I got. Of course, uh, to get the worm sound, I, I have a. Uh, um, I'm following the pitch. I made a pinch envelope, uh, well essentially it's, where is it, I made this little algorithm right here that uh, creates a pitch modulation that's following the uh, filter um, envelope generator. So when I change the envelope generator for the filter, it causes the, the pitch to change for this, so it's a... This is just, this is awesome. This is a great sound. Um, this is a classic sound. Um, that's what I was shooting for, and I, it sounds pretty close. Um, anyway, I just thought uh, I'd share, because I'm such a geek about all this. It's, uh, it's been an ongoing uh, uh, learning process of figuring out how to make you know this code work and change and to new sounds and whatnot uh, um, I've been learning how to program and see making this synthesizer and I've been learning how to build circuit boards by making this synthesizer this is my very first circuit board I ever made ever and it actually worked the first time the only thing I had to change was uh, two resistors on the output from the the DAC. I had the resistance too high. Um, there may be a couple other design flaws, I guess you'd say, or inefficiencies, but it does work as it is. And I'm working on uh, getting a graphical user interface uh, to uh, work on it as well. Um, let's see. I have uh, I have an envelope generator, graphical envelope generator, and uh, this is supposed to be for picking out presets, uh, but this has all been experimental crap, uh, and uh, so I'm just trying to bring everything together and make a better little portable synthesizer like this, and it's not really for something to actually sell as a product as much as it is It's for me to learn and for prospective employers to see that I can do something, uh, you know, not just say that I can do something or I went to school and I learned how to do something, um, but I actually did do something because I never went to, went to college. Um, actually, uh, to be quite honest, I didn't finish high school. Um, I just, I can't help but just tinker with stuff and this is kind of where it's come to is messing around with electronics and uh, computer code. Anyway, uh, this is just... <laughs> Just such a cool sound. <laughs>
Take care.